Good morning everyone! Our topic for today is all about coaching session as learning opportunities. In an organization where leadership is a priority, coaching session takes place. Coaching sessions are learning opportunities as they provide room for sharing, best practices, and brainstorming session that gears towards one's personal growth. So I will explain that one later but we will first discuss um, what coaching is. In an organization where practice, um, advice, training, challenge, goal, growth is a priority, coaching takes place. When we hear the word coaching, you can see the word coach, right? Maybe a coach in a volleyball game, in a basketball game, or in any field of sports, maybe. Coach helps an individual to improve work performance, or in other words, helping them to learn. Coaching is a process that aims to improve performance and focuses on the here and now. So it's all about the transformation. It's also the development, providing people with tools, knowledge, opportunities that they fully develop and be effective. So coaching helps us, guides us, and assists us to fully develop our knowledge, capabilities, and actions in life. A designed alliance focused on developing individuals to become at their best self and to contribute their best fit and talent. So, according to Miss Ophelia, that coaching is also developing individuals to be at their best. So, people are now good, but we want to be best, to be the best of what we do, also enhances of what we do things, even in our actions, in a way that we create. So, tama nga naman siya, di ba? People are now good, people are smart and intelligent, pero gusto natin na maging best Diba? So, sino nga namang may ayaw, diba? So, best self. So, best of what we do things even sa mga actions natin sa buhay, sa mga plano, and especially sa goals in life. Coaching is an egoless process in which coachable moments are created to draw out distinctions and promote shifts in thinking and behavior. So, being a humble person, dapat yung mga bagay na ang pinapaalala sa atin na itinuturo sa atin is kailangan nating isaalang-alang because it's for our own good, right? Gawin natin siyang inspiration and motivation for us to achieve our dreams and goals in life. So, for example, isa kang customer service employee and nakikita ni coach na hindi ka ganun ka-confident makipag-interact and makipaghalubilo sa mga tao. So, dun ka niya tututukan, which is, yung dun ka mahina, dun ka niya i-assist and dun ka niya i-guide para makita mo yung improvement and development sa sarili mo. So, may mga bagay siyang isi-shift, especially to your thinking and behavior kasi yun yung nakikita ng mga tao. ba diba? Na hindi dapat. So, may mga bagay kang dapat na i-take off, especially to your personality and characteristic as a person because it's for your own growth and development. Coaching is a professional discipline and skill set which enhances your performance, your actions, creativity, momentum, and transformation. So for me, when I hear the word um, coaching right now, it is all about being independent. Kasi, oo, andyan si coach na igagayad tayo, i-assist tayo sa mga bagay na kailangan nating i-develop sa sarili natin and i-improve. Pero at the end of the day kasi, tayo na din yung bahala sa sarili natin. So, yung mga process, yung mga steps natin sa buhay, nakadepende sa atin. ba diba? So, it is also um, yourself who drives your future. May mga taong nag-guide sa atin, may mga taong nagsasabi kung ito, gawin mo ito, ito, gawin mo ganyan. Pero nakadepende kasi sa atin yun kung gagawin ba natin or hindi. So, nakadepende sa atin kung paano natin i-apply yung mga sinasabi nila sa atin. Kaya, sabi ko nga kanina, it's all about being independent. ba diba? And another one is, in coaching, it helps you bring out who you are. Kung sino ka ba talaga. Which involves your talents, your actions, kung paano ka mag-isip, kung paano ka magplano sa buhay mo, and kung paano mo patatakbuhin yung goal mo in life.
coaching session. Coaching sessions are considered learning opportunities as they provide room for sharing, best practices, and brainstorming session that gears toward one's personal growth. So here in in um, coaching session, it is a process that enables people's success, particularly in BPO industry. So for example, in um, business owner, you are a business owner and kailangan mo ng kailangan mo ng payo for running a business. So, si coach, gagawa siya ng paraan. So, he will uh, assist you, guide you, and ikaklarify niya sa'yo yung mga vision mo, yung mission mo, and especially yung personal goals mo. Diba? Hindi ka pagtatawanan dahil imbes na um, pagtawanan ka, sa halip na pagtawanan ka, marami kang matututunan. That's why, hindi lang best practice, best experience siya para sa'yo. Kasi, Kung baga dito ka nagumpisa, dito mo na figured out na kaya ko pala gawin yung bagay na to. Ah, may talent pala ako dito. Diba? Pagdating ng araw, magugulat na lang si coach na from dito to dito. Diba? Professional ka na. Diba? So, maririnig mo kay coach na I'm proud of you. Siyempre, proud siya sa sarili niya. Nagawa niya yung, nagawa niya yung best niya para matuto ka, ma-improve yung mga dapat na ma-improve, ma-develop kung ano yung mga dapat na ma-develop. Pero, mas proud siya sa'yo. Kasi, ikaw yung naging instrumento din para sa pag-abot mo ng pangarap mo, especially sa business na meron ka. The Coaching Cycle. So, dito naman tayo sa GROW Coaching Model. The acronym of GROW is G is for Goal, R is for Reality, O is for Options, and W is for Will. For example, you are a student. Ngayon, ang gusto mong goal is to graduate in college. And the reality is, nakahilata ka lang, umaasa ka sa mga kaklase mo pagdating ng exams, pagdating ng bigayan ng mga activities, ng mga requirements, pero ang goal mo is to graduate. Ngayon, ang options mo is, babaguhin mo yung pagiging tamad mo sa pag-aaral. That is your option one. Option two, gawin mong inspirasyon yung mga pinsan mong nakapagtapos na. And option three is, gawin mong inspirasyon yung pamilya mo. Yun yung options mo. Ngayon, meron tayong W, which is yung will. Ngayon, from all your options, option 1, 2, and 3, in will, merong isang option that will best fit your steps and process to graduate in college. Gets? Another one, in business naman tayo. Ngayon, ang goal mo is makapagpatayo ng business. Makapagpatayo at makapagpalago ng business. Ngayon, ang reality mo, yung pera dapat na pagpapatayo mo dun sa business mo is ipinangsugal mo. Walang natira, kahit piso. Ngayon, ang options mo, maybe um, pagtrabawan ko ulit yung pera na sinayang ko at hindi ko nasasayangin pa ulit sa kahit anumang um, sugal. Pangalawa, uutang ako sa bangko. Pangatlo, hahayaan ko, hahayaan ko na lang. Ngayon, yung will mo, Yung sa tatlong option na yon, there is one thing, isa lang, na kung saan um, magbe-best fit yon sa proseso or sa steps mo para mabuhay ulit yung business mo, para mapalago at mapatayo ng maayos at maging successful. So yun yun. Kaya siya tinawag na um, it is tried and tested coaching approach kasi nga, Sa lahat ng business, sa lahat ng proseso for achieving your goals, ito yung ginagamit natin. ba? Ito yung ginagamit mo. Ganun naman eh. ba? May goal tayo sa buhay. Siyempre, pinagtatrabawan natin yan. Minsan, napapalpak. Minsan, um, nagiging success. So, yun yun. Yun yung sa grow coaching model. By establishing your goal, you need to be smart. The acronym of SMART is S is for specific, M is for measurable, A is for achievable, attainable, R is for realistic, and T is for timely. Now, you are a high school student and gusto mong mag-college pero iniisip mo yung expenses at yung mga babayaran. Ngayon, sumagi sa isip mo na gusto kong mag-ipon at least 2,000 pesos. So, that is your specific goal. Alam mo kung ano yung amount of money na gusto mong i-achieve. 2,000 pesos. Ngayon, yung measurable mo is you can able to measure that kasi dito, dito mo makikita yung progress. Kung may nangyayari ba o wala dun sa goal mo. Ngayon, itong attainable, achievable, you can actually do it. Is that attainable? Is that achievable? Posibleng magkaroon ka ng 2,000 pesos kung wala kang trabaho. Pero meron ka. Meron kang trabaho. So you can uh, make enough money in an hour or in a month. 
di ba? So, you can reach that goal, right? And in realistic naman is, um, yun nga, posibleng magkaroon ka ng 2,000 pesos kung wala kang ginagawa. So, anong gagawin mo? You need to stick with your job. You need to put a lot of time and effort para ma-reach mo yung goals mo at para maging posible na rin yung goal mo na magkaroon ng 2,000 pesos. And here in realistic then is, it's all about doing your other resources or other commitments like homeworks, mga activities, and um, family relationships like that. And last one is yung timely. In timely naman is, by saving, um, the goal of saving a 2,000 pesos is very important and useful in your college education. <laughs> dito kasi sa timely is, uh, dito mo makikita, dito mo makikita na yung goal mo is very useful siya sa buhay mo. Timely or time-bound. In time-bound, there is a target date and there is a deadline for your goal. Meaning, there is a boundary, there is a target day and time para i-achieve at para ma-achieve mo yung goal mo na magkaroon ng 2,000 pesos savings for your college expenses. So, by establishing your goal, um, you need to put a lot of time and effort okay, for you to achieve your dreams and goals in life. Step 1, establish the goal. Example, you and your team member need to look at the behavior you want to change and then structure this change as a goal he or she wants to achieve. And make sure that you define the goal should be smart. S stand for specific, M stand for measurable, A stand for achievable, and R stand for realistic, and T stand for time bound. And here the some question that will help you to know what is your objective when you achieve the goal and to know what the solution to solve this problem. Step 2. Examine current reality focus on discussing the identified goal. For instance, your current score on technical knowledge is 78%. By the end of the month, you aim to hit the 85% mark. Example, next, ask your team member to describe his current reality. This is one important step in which you're trying to solve the problem or reach a goal without fully considering a starting point. And here the same question in this step. And this step provides you an opportunity to get a root cause of issue and what is stopping you from achieving a goal. Step 3. Explore the option. This step, explore the option, allows the leader to let you think of contingencies if the first action item will not work. This will allow you to come up with multiple action items or means to meet and even exceed your goal. Example, once you explore the current reality, now determine what are the possible options for achieving a goal that will help you and your team member create an objective. And here the some question in this step. This step, it will give you an opportunity to come up with an option for the goal you and your team member you want to achieve. The final step in the GROW model is to establish the will. Establish the will is about getting your commitment, the will to achieve the specified goal. You should know how to establish your commitment to maintain and achieve your goal that you wish. Guide questions to help you establish the will. So what will you do now and when? What I am going to do now is to think what step that I will do in the right time. What could stop you moving forward? No one stopped me because no matter what happened, I will pursue for my dreams. And how will you overcome it? I overcome it through don't think negative and don't mind the people who bring me down. Will this address your goal? Yes. How likely is this opinion to succeed? I like it because it motivated me in what I am doing now. What else do? What else will you do? I set my mind to reach my goal and to study hard. Based on research and experience, coaching sessions are necessary because it enables team members and employees to perform better, especially when coached passive, positively rather than constantly being evaluated and rated. The member is much better motivated with positive thought encouragement and attractive thought than the coaches who always rated the work. It provides employees with a more positive outlook, inspiring the performance, especially from the more reserved or reluctant. The employees should look attractive and pleasant to make a positive and inspiring performance.
It promotes career self reliance with engage which engage employees in continuous career and development. It encourages to us to more productive and self related to continuous and gain our career development. It contains creativity, performance, performance and action across the organization to make us more productive, more creativity to make our work more improvement and well organized. Dapat mas maging creative at maging organized tayo para mas ma-improve natin yung mga sarili natin. As a future leader in the industry and a recipient of this process, you are now armed with fundamental concepts that will help you prepare to become a good leader who values and leverage coaching and the opportunities it provides. As a future leader, you should now always motivate them to make a better value and the principle of the important things in the activity to encourage them to more opportunity, opportunities that you provide in the activity. Ang isang leader ay may motivated word sa kanyang mga katim para may apply nito sa mga importansya sa kanyang mga opinion ng mga bawat members niya.